the number one question that we have as we get into our first game. Well, here we go, Rusty. Here's a, another quick recap of what those two rosters look like loading into the very first game of a brand new split. It's been a hot minute since we last saw Nico. Nico is never up against the newcomers in Vertex. And here's a fun fact for you. On an opening night of League of Legends for the Chiefs, they've only once lost their match, and that was up against Peace. So let's see if Vertex can also add to history in that regard Well, speaking as well. of There's first blood. history being made here, Oh, and it went to Draven. 50 seconds in, Draven is going to get first blood. Forever goes down, the Wukong is gone. <laughs> and that is a longsword Draven that can go back to base. And look, because you've done so well, King, you can get a control ward with your extra longsword. But Texas, they may look for this play. They don't know that they've been spotted and Kevy ready for the counter gank. And they go. In they go. There is the counter gank. Rosie's jumped in. He's committed everything. Exhaust is there. Flash having to be burnt. Shield on his hair, but he's gone. Tongue lash gone. Kevy jumps in, looking for the final strike. It's Grey Health, but it's evaporated now. There's a Grey Screen. There's the Some second full raise. In they jump, looking for another forever. Might be dead forever in a sec, but thankfully survives. And boy, oh boy, bot lane is the focus. And we play, keep them humble. Let them know you can still fight at any time. Tom Kench, one of the best duelists for individual DPS output as a support. Ray's going to make sure this crashes. Oh, and that's a bait, that's a hook, and that's the sinker. Look at that. You fought for a second. You really fought for a second. Our Rage, you've been caught out of position. But Alodoric, just in the right place. Yeah. The second, the wave would have crashed. Top lane fighting. Oh, it's a good flash there, preemptive from uh, Biopanther as Thomas Leader's found himself in with that slicing mouse drop. Biopanther oh, no. onto the turret! It's too, why did you gank me? I'm a veteran for a reason, and I will 1v2. I mean, ultimately, if all... As Biopanther just cleans up shop, will get himself the one for two and get out with his life, and now the Chiefs, they'll get a turret bottom, they'll flash in mid. Oh, the flash, the hook, it's beautiful. Picture perfect there from Elador. There's another kill for Kevy. Well, he's first at the game. His contribution has been felt across this map, and now we are seeing on all three fronts that Chiefs are really starting to pull ahead. I mean, look. Meta champions as well. Draven, Trinity Force is done. It's going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with. He knows he's dead. He, he just knows he's dead. He's, he's clearing the wave. That's going to try and get whatever he can. He'd love Ooh, to get dancing. that cannon. It's not going to happen, though. The axe <laughs> comes across, and Ray's like, ah. You thought you had that one. Wow. You can get the assist. I'll get the gold. And at this point now, he has really, I want to say, three champions equivalent of gold individually. So there's a couple of ways to look at this, Kimmy. Uh, option one is wherever the Draven goes, you do not. You, just, you do not go there. This is what they've done. So they're actually fighting. How strong are the Chiefs without their Draven? Well, he's on a wide roam now. Aladroic, the first casualty. Rosie makes sure of that one. The Dragon is going to go back. In goes the leap. In goes the cask. And that's going to knock back to Kisse. Pops the Blossom and knocks them Raises all up. Here. He found what he needed. Raced across the wall, flashed in. Instant cleanse. Captain Jack gets exhausted and off to life. No way he lives. He hits them with the axe. He tries to pad their stats just a fraction more. Kevy jumps in with the heart seeker and he is going to do just that by breaking their hearts. And are they looking for the ace? They can't find it just yet, but they'll find one outside your base's defense. And my God, Rusty. It's Carnage. Yeah. Tire. Uh, recalls in the bush on Vision to protect himself to clear the wave. Raised. There it is. This time with no summoners. This is raised. Absolutely a sitting duck. So they are going to get the shot. Then it goes the way of Thomas Cena. That's Ooh. where you want on the cannon. In goes the explosive cast. A two man Everfrost. Stalled as the next casualty. 80 carry for 80 carry. Looks like a fair trade to me. Chirp finds himself a kill by removing the second. Kisse's in coming. In the Viego. But here comes Kisse primed with an ultimate, but with no flash. Flash body slam, however, locks in place two again. There is the ult, there is the double! And now Chiefs hunting for that ace. It's Chirp, a dream. He wants to try and scatter the weak, but Chiefs are not weak, not so. They're coming on the flank. Where are you going to go, Chirp? If you go up and straight into it, Alodoric's <laughs> just done with this fight. He's had enough. They're priming in, making it easy. In case they tried to get it, but Bio will confirm it. When we have all 10 champions back on the map, it is a siege which is being led right now by the Chiefs. They found themselves the second Rift Herald, and that's found itself another turret to collide into. There's the hook, we're on for a kill. With no turret to aggro, Aladoric worms his way out of harm's way, but he does fall down eventually still. The Herald is there, and it's done some sizable damage to that inhibitor, which uh, really survives. By now, where a lot of people get that full ADHD energy is 
We've got a teleport here. We've got a flank. Will raise dive. Bio's nearby. Well, first things first, he had to make sure that that turret would fall on down. Out comes the cast. Too little, too late. Thomas Sinus secures it with the shortest bit of burst damage coming out from his ultimate. The rest of his team uh, still standing strong as ever. They are still pushing three lanes at once. Able to isolate key members out. So him being dead. Uh -oh. Great axe. That's going to delay those recalls. Aladoric. And Aladoric with Has vision. Flash. Absolutely knows. Hex flash across what? the wall. Hook onto another wall because why not? In goes Kiss. They flash away from the root. And it's a lonely 80 carry. It's a tough life when you've got nowhere to run nor hide. Popping Blossom and a Cyclone. But you're dead. And Kiss A is dominating. A cute little attempt there. <laughs> oh, we're back. Okay, well, let's just carry on the action. We'll see you guys um, in two minutes. Nom, nom, nom goes Kevy. He's been absolutely eaten like a uh, halal snack pack for sure. As we get to see what happens in the base defense with two inhibitors gone and Chief's now looking for a third. Still about 18,000 gold ahead. Vertex, however, have recognized Chiefs maybe have overstayed their welcome just a little bit. Oh, Thomas Dino win with a flash slicing Maelstrom. What can he find? He can find one potentially. As Stard is the one to pick up the spoils. Axe goes out, but can't kill confirmed. So now it's still a case of Chiefs fighting their way out and back to their own side. If there was one thing I would say is Rosie in a spot of bother will get himself out when they actually get hit by the Nico E. They are looking for Raze again. Oh, Raze, he keeps split pushing. He keeps getting away with it. He's still living, but eventually gets taken down. That's two for Stard now. The Aphilios has found his only two kills of the game at 22 minutes in. He's genuinely just split pushing until the game he ends. Isn't he? He's genuinely just going to plant himself in a side lane. Into this one. Kiss, they not too far behind. He's got 22 stacks on that Majai's. And look how much damage it does to Stahl. He is godlike and for good reason too. He's just got one shot. And Philos did not get a chance to even breathe. You can buy a Gale Force from the base, but you cannot use that now for another 30 seconds. There is inhibitor number three. Now knocking on the base door. Looking to put a bulb on it. Looking to wrap it up as we go into game two. And Raze is here, so no doubt they'll find themselves an angle soon, but desperation now for Vertex. They want their ADC to be alive, Gragasol. Oh, that's a dirty explosive cast, popping Blossom in the back line. Two on two, which is a little bit too easy. Picking them apart, one by one they go. There is a double for Kiste. There is also Raze joining in on the action as well, because why not? It started with him, it may just end with him as he tries to farm you inside your fountain as well. You're respawning, but it is a done deal as Chiefs will wipe the floor in 24 minutes flat. It's short and sweet.